Hello everyone, this is Dr. Gurbuz. Welcome to my video on conducting one sample t-test using SPSS. First, let's try to understand what one sample t-test means and when we need to use it. Actually, we use one sample t-test if there is a significant difference between a population mean which is known value or set value and a sample mean. So, typical hypothesis for the one sample t-test should be like that. There is a significant difference between the sample mean and the population mean or set value. So, in a one sample t-test, we have only one dependent variable which is sample mean. What we're gonna do is actually we try to compare our sample mean with a population mean which is set value or non value so let's say i am interested in heights of my student at my classroom so this is my sample mean so i conduct a very short survey to my students and collect their heights and on the other hand i have a known value which is let's say national average of heights so i want to know if my students okay are taller or shorter than national average to do that i need to use one sample t-test so in one sample t-test we have only one dependent variable and we are trying to compare the mean of this dependent variable with the population mean or set value we try to understand our sample comes from population mean or not so let's proceed with the real example okay let's say this is my hypothesis so young citizens perception of sustainable energy is not different from tree let's say this is our null hypothesis and and h1 which is young citizens perception of sustainable energy is significantly different from tree so this is my alternate hypothesis as you see the young citizens perception of sustainable energy is my kind of sample mean and i try to compare my sample mean with the known value or set of value which is let's say in this case is tree so let's assume that we collect the data from 436 young citizens and the perception of sustainable energy scale consists of seven items with a five point liquid scale one equals strongly disagree and five equals strongly agree so first i'm gonna do some aggregation regarding the my items in order to create the mean perception so let's skip to spss and see how can we calculate the means and then let's go with the one sample to this so this is my data let's go to the variable view and as i mentioned to you we have seven items so first of all i should aggregate this item to do perception of sustainable energy to do that i always should go to do transform and compute variable and then a window pops up then i should go to the function group and i should find the statistical and i will use mean in terms of aggregation so i shall move the mean to upper window okay then i shall delete the question marks and i will move my items between these parentheses you can move them by doing double click or just like a drag or you can just use this arrow it's up to you so to do that I shall put comma between the variable or items as you see I shall put some comma otherwise the SPSS does not calculate it 
so yeah I am done so don't forget the parentheses okay so mean parentheses items comma items comma items and the, at the end of the all variables you should also put parentheses and then we should write the name of the my new variable let's say mean perception okay now it is yeah mean yeah yeah it's ready just click okay okay now as you see we have the new variable so as i told you during our video in the one sample t test we have only one dependent variable in this case which is of course perception of young citizens towards sustainable energy okay so now i can proceed with the one sample t test to do that first i shall go to analyze then compare means and then one sample t test click one sample t test and a window pops up so what i'm gonna do i should move my new variable or dependent variable which is mean perception to the right box and i just double click it or you can just click this one and use this arrow or you can just yeah drag it to the right box okay so this is my kind of let's say sample mean okay so test variable our mean perception and at the drop down menu you can see the test variable so i should write here my known value my test value or my population mean in this case remember our hypothesis it was three so for that reason i should write here three and then you are ready to go just hit the ok and you will get the results from the spaces output so in a spaces output first of all you should see the descriptive statistic table one sample statistics so we have number of our sample consists of 436 people or observation and then we have mean and we have standard deviation and also we have standard error of mean okay and the down table this is the real table that we should interpret in terms of uh, supporting or rejecting our hypothesis so as you see the name of our dependent variable which is mean perception and we have t value okay and also we have df which is decrease of freedom always equal n minus one in this case we have 436 sample size it means that my df should be minus this one that gives me 435 and then you should see sig which is significant which is our p value or probability okay to tell it so as you see it is below or less than my cut off points or my significance level which is 0 0.05 so just double click this one you will see actually it is not a zero completely okay as you see you see many decimals after the comma for that reason okay we just uh, write it um, our p value is less than or lower than my p value which is 0 0.05 so in this case guys as you see my p value is clearly less than 0 0.05 so in this case i can say that my alternative hypothesis is supported or i reject my null hypothesis and i support my alternate hypothesis so let's go to powerpoint again and see how can we report all these findings in apa style okay so uh, this was yeah, my hypothesis young citizens perception of sustainable energy is significantly different from tree so this one my first table it's about to describe the statistic so based on this table i can write this text 436 young citizens fell in the questionnaire with the value to the process 
with the mean attitude 3.76, standard deviation equals 0.55. So this is comes from this table. And the most importantly, based on my one sample t-test results, I shall try this tax. As you see, one sample t-test is conducted. The mean for the attitudes of the young citizens differs significantly from 3. And I shall put to my statistical value. Okay, first of all, T and with the DF, which is 435, comes from here. And then I should write my T value, which is 28.87. Then I should write here my P value is lower than 0 0.01, which gives me 99 confidence interval or which gives me a kind of probability lower than or less than 0.01. So in this case, I can say that my uh, alternative hypothesis is supported because my p-value is clearly less than 0 0.01. Also, I can say that my null hypothesis is rejected because there is a significant difference between the my population mean, which is, let's say, 3, and my sample mean, which is 3.76. So, that's all from my side, guys. So, see you on the next video.